Yeah, go ahead. Hi. Today we're at a house that is a vacant house owned by a landlord. Um, the house was infested with bed bugs. The landlord evicted the one tenant and the other tenant moved out on their own accord. So what is a landlord to do when a house is full of bed bugs after the tenant moves out? Conventional pesticide doesn't really work because the bed bugs will go into hibernation. And if the bed bug is in hibernation, which for bed bugs is called diapause, what do you do? Really the only way is to heat treat. Other than that, when the next tenants move in, they're likely to have bed bugs. Oh, there's Butler, the bed bug dog. Hey, Butler, come on over and say hello. Come on, say hello to everybody. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the equipment that we're working with. My business partner, Laura, is with me today. And um, we're gonna give you a little idea of what's going on here. So again, this is a two family home. So we have heat going in on all floors of this house other than the attic, which we'll get later. So we have heat going into the basement, first floor, second floor. And these are the glaze 300s or 200s that we're using at this house. Once we get the house up to 120 degrees, We'll keep it that temperature or hotter, 120 to 150 for no less than four and a half hours. That will kill all the bed bugs that we don't know where they're hiding in this house. And that we can't see. Well, one of the things that we look for, it's harder to find bed bugs in a vacant house, of course, but you should be able to find indications. In both these units, I found dead bed bugs, I found one live bed bug, and I definitely found indications. Whenever we're looking at a house, the best indication is the little black dots. That's the fecal matter. Because the bed bugs will leave the fecal matter. If they eat, they'll leave the fecal matter. When we go into the house, we'll show you a little example of that. And, and that, those little dark flecks can be on the baseboard, they can be on the electric plates, they can be on the light switch, they can on the flat paint. Sometimes if there were a poster and there was a family behind there, you'd see that, that kind of a thing. Question, and it's a hard one to answer because in some communities, the landlord's responsible. Communities that are becoming bed bug proactive are having ordinances where they're making the landlord responsible to eradicate the bed bugs. Same as if you had a clogged sewer system. Even if the tenant clogged the sewer system, you can't say, hey, Mr. Tenant or Miss Tenant, you have to pay that $6,000 to have the um, plumbing re-dug out and put a new sewer system. But who paid for it can depend on the ordinances and the agreement in the rental agreement. Typically, landlords do not like paying for bed bug eradication. In this house, the landlord knows the value of renting the property free of bed bugs, so he's paying for it. Um, sometimes you'll see that the tenant will split the cost with the landlord. Sometimes you'll see that the tenant wants them bad, you know, wants them gone so badly that they'll pay for the cost. But generally, with a heat treatment, because it is somewhat expensive, um, what we recommend is a tenant-landlord combination. Very often the landlord will pay for it and then add a couple hundred dollars a month onto their rent that would pay for the eradication. And, and I will say this, landlords typically want to use poison and spray. It's a lot cheaper, it's a lot quicker, and, and for them it's done, they're not living there. So it behooves the tenant to take it into their own hands and push for heat that will actually kill the bugs, even if they have to pay more than the price. Okay, so number one, we're landlords. That's how we got into this business. I think that was mentioned in one of our prior videos. Um, one of the most important things is tenants are not allowed to trash pick furniture. When we come to people's homes and they say, well, we're gonna throw that out, we always ask them, cut the material open, paint it, do something so it's not attractive. Because 
people will pick up furniture that looks good, take it to their house, and then they'll have bed bugs as well. Right. So the first thing a landlord should do is prohibit a tenant from trash picking furniture. Also, you got to be very cautious in when you buy used furniture. I had a tenant that said, we bought it in Mentor. Mentor's a nice community in Cleveland. You know, maybe the average income is, you know, six figure, yet six figure people have bed bugs as well. So I think what a landlord needs to ask also in the interviewing people, have you ever had bed bugs? And listen to people talk about their bed bug experience, determine whether that's somebody that they even want to put in their house. Yeah, because if people are exposed to bed bugs over a long period, Let's go inside. Now Butler doesn't like going inside because of the high heat. But we'll try to get him in. Come on, Butler. Butler, do you want to come in? Normally Butler won't go in the warm house. But he'll be leaving. Okay, Bobby, you can go. Entire part of the home. 